Oh, hey there, Dr. Amy. Ah, literally just woke up probably about an hour and a half ago. But, uh, <clears throat> so definitely froggy, <laughs> still waking up. It's the morning and I have my coffee in hand in my awesome coffee mug. Um, actually one of my favorites because it was my dad's. He was a professional civil engineer and my coffee roast today <laughs> is Texas pecan, uh, French pressed. And um, I love this coffee. It is, my best friend lives in South Houston area in Pearland and she sent me like two pounds of these beans a while back and I totally forgot I had them. So I'm like, man, I am French pressing this this morning and it is so robust. I love it. So salute. Mm. And welcome to another coffee talk. So today's topic, this was interesting. Um, I was interacting with a patient a while back and he uh, threw out this term called, hey, Aim, I'm in this recovery month. And I'm like, oh, recovery month, like what, what does that mean? Um, so he was kind of explaining it from his end and I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this makes total sense. So think of this, it is okay to have a recovery month from a, health, wellness, fitness, um, and recovery pathway, um, and wellness pathway, right? So, you know, we're human beings. We have a pretty active lifestyle. We travel, um, on top of work duties, things just happen to fill up on our schedule all the time. Meanwhile, we might have these little like fitness goals in mind, but then when things start stacking on top of each other and it becomes a stressful environment, the human body in turn kind of um, takes the brunt of it, right? So perhaps maybe a little injury might occur. Maybe um, you tweaked your calf muscle because you're training for a full marathon or you're not sleeping good, right? Because you're traveling constantly or you have vacations scheduled. So your wake uh, sleep cycle is totally out of whack. So it's hard to get good exercise in, get good training in um, because you're basically fighting an uphill battle because all of the things are piling up on your schedule. So getting back to this, um, I guess like recovery month, I love this term and kind of pondered about this to changing your mindset on this. If you have a schedule or an upcoming schedule, like perhaps in the next month, um, and you're like, oh man, this is, this is a pretty stacked, um, every weekend I'm doing something, I'm traveling, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. How am I going to work out? How am I going to sleep? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? I think it's important to maybe change your mindset. The schedule is what it is. Hang on. Mm. Texas pecan is so good. Not sponsored, should be H-E-B. So having a schedule is good, but sometimes we can't control it, right? Um, especially when we're not really our own bosses like myself, but um, you know, unexpected air travel, unexpected driving to different states that it's hard to control that. So coming up and switching, coming up with this game plan uh, where, okay, I am training for this marathon um, that's happening six months down the road. This month I'm gonna treat as if I'm in like recovery mode. I'm not training to or exercising to hit personal records or break PRs or establish new um, personal records, right? Um, rather, I'm going to give myself the grace that I'm treating my exercise training regimen as recovery. I'm keeping my joints healthy. I'm moving, right? Um, incorporating a stretch routine. When I get to my hotel, I'm doing some zone two walking on the treadmill and trying to nasal breathe. Um, I'm trying to make it non-negotiable that when I do have to go to these, you know, dinner meetings that, hey, nine o'clock or 9.30 hits at, in the evening, 
it's time for me to go to bed. So you kind of create this mindset that recovery becomes a priority for you because you're looking into the future, right? Because as you get closer to your full marathon or half marathon, that you will be able to control things even more. Um, so recovery month, I think, is a, a fantastic term. You know, um, when you feel like you're, you're constantly in this uphill battle that, you know, you might have a niggle here, you might have a strain in the shoulder here, or the elbow's a little tweaked, and then you're traveling a lot, you're vacationing, your child's sick, that sometimes if you just switch that mindset instead of, oh my God, I have to train, I have to get from point A to point B with purpose, but then I have to set like a record with it. No. So take an aerial view, look at the overall schedule of what you can't control and maybe switch that mindset that like, okay, you know, my exercise and training and recovery, I'm going to treat this as a recovery month. Um, so I kind of like that concept, but, uh, okay. That's, that's the coffee spiel for today. I was totally going to stand outside for this. Um, and it's super cold out right now. It's definitely getting into the winter months right now, but, um, I just woke up. So anywho, salut, enjoy that coffee. Mm. And we'll see you on the next FPT coffee talk.